What's up, everybody? I'm Dane Sawyer, and this is Dane Sawyer Makes Mothman Out of Socks. Sock gnomes can be cute, but you know what's cooler than a sock gnome? A sock mothman. Let's make one. If you're here, you probably know who Mothman is, but just in case you don't, Mothman is a humanoid cryptid hailing from West Virginia who was first sighted in 1966. In a town called Point Pleasant, several people reported seeing a large gray man with red eyes and 10-foot wings. These sightings were reported around the same time as the tragic collapse of Point Pleasant's Silver Bridge, which seemed to both validate the sightings and tie them to the bridge collapse. Was Mothman here to warn us about the bridge? Like its gnome counterpart, you can get everything you need to build a sock mothman at the dollar store. You also need some scissors, glue, a hot glue gun, and a scrap piece of cardboard. Any old thin cardboard will do. Pull your socks apart and dump about a quarter cup of decorative sand in the bottom. This is going to weigh down mothman so he doesn't tip over. I'm stuffing my mothman with some polyester fiber fill I had on hand. If you don't have any of this, you can buy some bags of cotton balls from the cosmetics section or rip apart a dollar store pillow or stuffed animal. I'm noticing here that the sock I got is pretty thin and a lot of the stuffing fibers are coming through, so I'm going to plan to use two socks. If you have a thicker sock, you might be able to get away with one. Since I'm going to use two socks, I'm going to use a rubber band to tie off the top of this one. If you're only using one sock, hold off on tying this off for a minute. I've got the bead that I'm going to use for his nose here. Because my socks are so see-through, I'm going to color it black with a sharpie. I cut off the excess of sock one and slide this little bundle into sock two. I eyeball the position of my nose and then use my finger to slide the bead in between two socks into final position. And then pinch that little nose and use a rubber band to secure it in place. If you're only using one sock, you would slide the bead down along the stuffing and secure it in the same manner. Secure the top with another elastic band, cut off the excess, and then secure down the raw edges with a bit of hot glue. Be very careful you don't touch the elastic with your hot glue gun, it will break. Don't worry, we'll cover this ugly bit later. Set the body aside for a minute, we're going to make some wings. I start by deconstructing this fuzzy gray Christmas stocking I got. I cut a couple of wing shapes out of some scrap cardboard. If you don't want to draw your own wings, you're welcome to use these ones. I've made a template available for free on my website. I spread a generous amount of white glue on each cardboard wing and stick them to the back of the faux fur stocking. You want to cover both sides of the cardboard and fur. Just double check that your fur is laying in the right direction before you glue it down. This was probably overkill, but I did clamp them under a brick and let them dry really well. When they were really good and dry, I cut them out with a sharp pair of scissors. Now faux fur can be a little bit messy to work with, and I realize it might not be Christmas time when you are trying to make this, so no worries if you can't find this specific stocking, or maybe you just don't want to deal with the fluff and the gluing. Here's how you can make a set of wings with some craft felt. After cutting your wing shapes out of cardboard, you're going to stick them to some felt with some hot glue. The felt is a lot more robust than the stocking fabric was, so I'm not going to bother messing with white glue. Cut the wings out of the first piece of felt and then repeat the process to cover the other side. Now whether you have felt wings or fur wings, you can embellish them with circles of different colors of felt. You can have a play around and do this any way you'd like, but I've also provided an option on the template. Now it's time for the final assembly. Pull the bases off of two of your bottle brush trees. These are going to be Mothman's antenna. 
hot glue these in place and really hold them until the glue cools. Cut them a little wig out of faux fur or felt and hot glue that over the sock belly button on his head. Now you can add on his wings. Make sure the bottom of the wing doesn't extend beyond the bottom of the sock. You want him to be able to stand up later. Now the final touch is to add on Mothman's characteristically red eyes. That's it for Sock Mothman. You can find the template for this project for free at janesawyermakes.com. Please like and subscribe. I post new videos here as often as I can. You can find me on the internet at large on TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.